There was a big shift in going from the 2010 version of XCOM into the 2013, the Bureau that happened. And uh, that shift affected game design, story, and art. As we shifted the game to the 60s, that required a kind of a darker, grittier tone. Aliens are scary. It's not like little green men from Mars, like walking down Main Street. It's, oh my God, where do these things come from? They're coming at us. You know, it's it's dark. It's it's high high stakes. The game went through a kind of a big art direction shift, um, going from 2010 to 2012, mainly because the game itself was changed. As we shifted from this investigative game into something that's more a little bit more um, uh, direct conflict. Um, we needed kind of a, something that felt a little bit more uh, darker and grimmer. With that, the art style became more realistic, more detailed, but to match that tone that we were looking for, for a grimmer, more serious, more tactical game. One of the things that is a pillar of the franchise and expressed in the Bureau X and the Classified is this concept of aliens invading our planet. A lot of the genre things we touch in are like The Day the Earth Stood Still, or even X-Files, these classic alien movies all have that aspect of like, they're intelligent creatures from beyond our planet, but they're kind of monstrous as well. You know, monstrous as well. They're, they're freaky. For the Bureau, there are many influences. Um, it looked a lot to our X-Files. It's very classic. You know, just that, that whole sort of a out in the woods, mysterious vibe in a small town America, confronting something very uh, fantastic and, and unthinkable. I Mad Men uh, was also a big influence uh, for us. I mean, they get carried down to a T. The sets is absolutely amazingly detailed work, and but we can only hope to get close to that level of, of authenticity. As things started to get more honed in, the concept team would meet regularly with the artists on the team at their desks and we would hone ideas further, you know, looking in-world and seeing how this felt and seeing how it played off other ideas and that kind of stuff. But it's always very organic and very, very collaborative across the team. I think XCOM fans would like to pick up the Bureau um, mainly because it's sort of a great kind of core fantasy in that universe. You know, um, you're actually going to be the commander, you're going to be the guy actually on the field, you know, fighting and commanding everybody else. It's a lot more personal and a lot more sort of visceral in a way. And I think that gives it kind of a different take that, that's really a nice compliment to what you've seen in the other game. The name of the game is The Bureau XCOM Declassified. It comes out on Xbox 360, PS3, and PC on August 20th, 2013.